Okay, so let me ask you this. What's a pyramid? Since you said that's one that you know. So this is like the Okay, that's one type of pyramid. So this here is one type of pyramid where you have a square base and you have triangular faces. So all four faces are triangles. This isn't the only kind of pyramid though. So what makes a pyramid a pyramid if it's not this base? The key to a pyramid is that it has one base which in this case was a square, but it could be a triangular base or a trapezoidal base or a hexagon base, as long as its base is a regular, is a shape. The other thing is it has triangular faces. And faces are what we call these triangles that come up to the, to the point. So a pyramid has one base and comes to a point. So how do we draw a pyramid? Well, I'm going to draw a triangular pyramid. So to start, draw your base. So I'm going to draw a triangle. And what do we know about a pyramid? Everything comes to a point. So I'm going to go and draw a point somewhere above my triangle. Lastly, we're going to connect each vertice of our triangle with that point. And you have a triangular pyramid. Your base would be this right here. Some people like to do dotted lines for the things that are in the like in the background that actually aren't in the forefront. So if you're one that likes to do that, you would have dotted these two lines and dotted this one back here. So it kind of shows you that which one's in the back and which one's in the front. You don't have to do that. Again, I'm not grading you on your art. As long as it's got the key features of a base, that's a shape that I can tell what shape it is and that it's all coming to a point, that's what matters, okay? <clears throat> so what was another one that you guys said you knew? Cone. cone. Here's a cone. What is special about a cone? The base is a circle, so it's got a circular base. Does it have any faces? No, no. No, because it's round. Okay, so how do we draw a cone? We draw a circle and don't draw, this one, this is going to be great for all those who don't draw good circles because you don't want to draw like a full circle, you actually want to draw more oval because we don't want to seem like we're looking at it like this. We want it to kind of be like at an angle, so we're going to have a little bit of an oval to it. Just like the pyramid, put a point above your circle and then we're going to connect each side of our circular base with that point. And you have a cone. So again, if you're one of those who likes to do the dotted stuff so that it shows in the background, still draw your circle, but the back half here would be dotted. Do your point, and you would have it there so it looks like the back side is dotted. Again, I will take either drawing. Okay. Which other one do you do you guys know already? A sphere? Sphere? It's a ball. Or what we most of us know is a ball. Okay, so how do we draw? Well actually first off, does this have a base? No. 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 So a sphere has no base. <coughs> Oops, I meant to change colors. No base. Okay, so how do we draw a sphere? 
draw a circle and this one we actually do want it to look circular but we got to give it that 3d aspect so I'm gonna kind of find the middle of each side and I'm gonna kind of do a curved arc down to connect those two middle points and then a dotted curve up to represent the back there's your sphere You don't see it? So think, so does that look 3D to you? Oh, yeah. So, oh, well, no, that's it. so by even just by doing that, you kind of add that front dimension mm -hmm. and the back by dotting it, you kind of, you show that it's yeah. behind. It's mouth. Looks like a mouth? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you guys know what a cylinder or a prism looks like? cylinder because we use see them all the time on our soda bottles water bottles and whatnot so what's special about a cylinder two circular bases oops I'm forgetting to change colors two circular bases and does it have any faces no no now there is a way that you can make it have a fi one face, and that is if you were to think about cutting this up. So here's a cylinder. If you cut it down the middle and you unroll it, what shape does it make? Rectangle. So technically you could, some people say it has a rectangular <coughs> face, just one, but we're gonna say it has none, because it's, it's round. Okay, so how do we draw this? A circle and another circle and connect them. Again, if you like to do your 3D dotted aspect, you would do a circle on the top. And then I usually draw my lines before I draw the bottom circle. And I connect them with a solid round one on the bottom and dotted in the back. <coughs> So again, this, this is just if you want to give it a more 3D aspect. That dotted just, again, shows that it's in the back or behind. So again, these two both have circular bases. And the sphere had no base. Okay, so our last 3D shape of prism. Here's one. It has, like a cylinder, it'll have two bases. There's one, and what shape is that? Triangle. triangle. And the second one is also a triangle. triangle. So a prism has two bases. There are. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Okay, the key is that it has two bases. What shape are the faces? Rectangles. They're all rectangles. So we're going to say it has rectangular faces. So the one that I showed you guys is it called a triangular prism because the base is a triangle. Kind of like how on the pyramid you said a square base. Well, that was a square pr pyramid. So what other kind of pir prisms could we have? A rectangular, a hexagonal, a trapezoidal, all depending on what shape the base is. So if the base is a trapezoid, then you have a trapezoidal pyramid or prism. If your base is a hexagon, it's a hexagonal prism. So whatever shape your base is, and again, the base is what you have only two of. So not the rectangles, the shape you have only two of. So let's see, which type of prism do we want to draw? Here's a triangular. Do you want to do a, a rectangular or do you want to do a triangular prism? Yeah. OK. So triangular, we're going to start by drawing a triangle. And kind of like the, the cylinder, I'm going to go and draw a second triangle that try to match it so it looks exactly the same. And it's okay if it doesn't. 
and then we connect like vertices. So top with top, front left with front left, front right with front right. And so again, if you like to do the dotted three-dimensional thing, you, whoops, I already screwed it up. <coughs> we would do dotted, solid, dotted. This one would be solid completely. We'd have solid, dotted, solid. And that gives you that idea of what's in front and what's in back. Again, you don't have to do that. Drums. The, they're practicing for the parade. Are they going on the street? They're probably on the street, yeah. <laughs> Which means we're going to get a nice sound going here soon. Mm -hmm. All right. Fortunately, we're almost done with notes. OK, so what you're going to be looking at doing today is I, being able to look at a prism and identify what it is. So being able to look at this and go, oh, that's a triangular prism. That's a triangular pyramid. That's a cylinder. That's a comb. That's a sphere. Um, and so if this had a rectangular base, we'd say it's a rectangular prism. <laughs> Ethan, do you want to shut the door? Uh, if this base was a hexagon, we'd say it's a hexagonal uh, prism. So whatever ba shape the base is, is the first uh, word that we use. Now the other thing you're going to have today is review of your area formulas like we did yesterday. So who remembers the area of a rectangle? Base, base, base times, height. times height. What about a triangle? One half base. base times height over 2 or 1 half base times height. What about a circle? Pi radius squared. Pi r squared. And what about a trapezoid? <laughs> They're going that way. I can see them. All right, so let's start. We're going to do a lot of your homework in class today.